how do we know if the central atom has vacant d orbitals we'll make this very simple for you we'll explain this in detail thoroughly how can you find out if the central atom has vacant d orbitals in a very simple manner we'll understand this through examples the first example we take is pcl5 okay the octet for phosphorus in pcl5 is complete the atomic number for phosphorus is 15 and the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p3 4s0 3d0 so when you actually add up the superscript numbers because they represent electrons so the sum of those numbers should be equal to the atomic number of phosphorus which is 15 also the coefficients of s p d f these are called the principal quantum number so now how do you find out if p in pcl5 has vacant d orbital very simple the last electron of phosphorus has entered which orbital 3p as you can see after that there are no electrons in any other orbitals so the last electron of phosphorus has entered 3p so therefore the principal quantum number is 3 so after 3p in which the last electron of phosphorus entered which is the next d orbital 3d right so the next d orbital is 3d and the principal quantum number is 3 The last electron of phosphorus has entered 3p. Therefore, principal quantum number is equal to 3. The next d orbital after 3p is 3d, and the principal quantum number of that is 3 again. Also, the next d orbital, which is 3d, is empty. That is, it has zero electrons. Therefore, as principal quantum number of last electron entered is equal to principal quantum number of the next d orbital. and that next d orbital is empty therefore we can say phosphorus in pcl5 has vacant d orbitals and therefore pcl5 is an electrophile because phosphorus in pcl5 has a vacant d orbital so what have we learned so far let's write down the two conditions which i just mentioned to you in that example two conditions for identifying if central molecule has vacant d orbital are principal quantum number of the orbital in which the last electron entered should be equal to the principal quantum number of the next d orbital next d orbital means the d orbital which comes after the orbital in which the last electron entered so the last electron entered in 3p in pcl5 and the next d orbital after 3p was 3d so the principal quantum number of 3p and 3d should be same which is actually same 3 and 3 so the first condition was satisfied in pcl5 the second condition is that next d orbital which we were talking about should be empty that is it should have zero electrons in it now if these two conditions are satisfied then we can say that that atom has vacant d orbitals in that molecule So now we'll take the second example and I want you guys to solve it. Try to solve this question by yourself. NCl3. Is this an electrophile? Now as we can see, the octet for NCl3 is complete because N has 5 electrons in its outermost shell and it takes 3 electrons from chlorine. So the octet for NCl3 is complete. Then we have to make the electronic configuration of nitrogen in NCl3. Atomic number of nitrogen is 7. So the electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, 3s0, 3p0, 4s0, 3d0. The sum of electrons again should be equal to the atomic number which is 2 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 7. The principal quantum number of the last electron entered is 2 because it, the last electron enters 2p. The principal quantum number of the next d orbital after 2p is 3d, so the principal quantum number is 3. As 2 is not equal to 3 because we told you that the condition is these two principal quantum numbers should be equal and the same. So even though the 3d orbital is empty, we cannot say that nitrogen in NCl3 has vacant d orbital. I hope this concept is clear to you now. In case you have any doubts you can ask them in the comments below. 